This video is just from a bike ride I did the other day, uh, started down in Savulks where we live, just below Sousey, headed up into Bardonecchia and then up over the beautiful Col de la Scala, or the Col de la Chelle to give it its French name, into the Navash Valley, through, uh, through that absolutely stunning valley, through into Briançon, and then from Briançon we headed up the Col de Granon, which is at 2,413 metres. It is uh, easily accessible from Sousey within a day, absolutely no problem. Well, I say no problem, it's a bit of a brute of a climb, but uh, uh, it is a nice ride out. And from Briançon, you've also got the option of the Galibier and the Iswad, so uh, some great riding. Top of the Coldwell Shell at altitude 1762. There we go, it's a, a lovely ride now down all the way to, um, well, go through Navash. It's a beautiful valley down there towards the uh, road, main road onto Briançon, which is a bit of a mecca for cycling. Okay, I'm going to enjoy the downhill now. I'll take this relatively flat 7% section to just tell you a little bit about the, the Col de Granon. It was um, featured in the 1986 Tour de France. It has only featured once. Uh, I guess it's because we've got uh, its more famous siblings of the uh, Col de Galibier just further along the valley and in straight ahead of me we've got the Isawad. Uh, and also obviously top of this valley we've got the Lotteré you've got to get to the Lotteré before you do the Glibier um, so yeah it's, it's not featured many times well, as I say it's only featured once and it was Greg Lamond who rode into the yellow jersey up this up this climb it is it is quite a beast and with it, uh, quite a jump up the overall classification, but not high enough to take that leader's yellow jersey. That's going to go almost certainly now to Greg Lamont here, number seven. He's climbing the mountain towards the first ever yellow jersey for an American rider. And uh, no thank you sir, don't push me, don't touch me. Five kilometres to go Mark, showing an average gradient of 11.1%. Oh my god, this is brutal. That's the 4k to go marker at 9 point something, I don't, I don't even know, I'll stop caring. Just past the 3k mark to go, we're on 9.8% uh, now, it is relentless. Oh my lord, until, well actually as I said before, Tour de France came up here in 1986, that's the only time they've been up, and it was the highest stage finish in Tour history. Up until 2011 when its neighbour, the Galibier, took the honour. But, uh, dearie me, this is tough. Beautiful, uh, beautiful scenery though. Maybe, maybe I'll get to enjoy it at the top. And this enormous crowd has waited to clap and cheer 
the leading riders up the Col de Granos. There is the kite, suitably with a blue sky behind it as a backdrop. This is the highest point in the world for these riders today. They've climbed from the bottom in Briançon. The man who's dragged Greg LeBond to that yellow jersey undoubtedly is uh, uh, Zimmerman. Still setting the pace. Well, Paul, will LeBond and then Zimmerman take second place? Well, it's very difficult to know what's going through Greg's mind at the moment. He might, uh, he might try to out outsprint Zimmerman just for psychological reasons for the next few days. That is a tough old climb, but it's uh, one to tick off. Um, and as I said before, we've got the Col de Libye just over there, the Isward here, but my opinion, that is a much harder, much harder climb than uh, either of those two. So um, get yourselves out here and uh, get that ticked off the old bucket list. But uh, as you all know, if you're a cyclist, what goes up must come down. So I'm now looking forward to uh, the good old descent. 